Welcome to part two of my best daily trainers from every brand series. This is a video where I looked at the top 20 running shoe brands and found the best daily trainer from all of them. There's so many great brands out there and I wanted to take some time to highlight what the best of the best is when we're thinking about those everyday running shoes. Before we get into it, I want to tell you about the running shoe matcher, which is this really cool tool I built that matches you with the best running shoe for you based on your goals and preferences. So you could go in there, you answer five questions about what goal race you're training for, what your style of shoe is that you prefer. Do you want something soft or firm? Do you want a daily trainer, a tempo shoe or a race day shoe? And we will pair you with a few of the best shoes that match your criteria. So you can go ahead and go to runningshoematcher.com to check that out. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, next up we have New Balance. Now the best daily trainer from New Balance is going to be the Rebel V3. And I ran in this thing this morning, so it's still wet, which is absolutely disgusting. This is a shoe that's positioned by New Balance as a lightweight tempo shoe, but the way that it's used by a lot of runners is as a daily training shoe for those everyday miles. Now it has a soft fuel cell midsole foam in here that's a bit more fun to run in than that compound that's in Adidas's other everyday running shoes, it's like the 1080 and the 880. Those use the fresh foam compound, which is an EVA. This fuel cell is a super critical TPU and EVA blend, which is much softer, closer to what we see in a Piva, like a Nike Zumax or a Saucony Endorphin Pro 3, though not as energy returning and also not as unstable. I love this as a faster, longer run shoe. I know some runners like it for short and fast runs only, but if you're developing efficiency as a runner, a shoe like this is absolutely perfect for those runs where you're going to be dialing up the pace for an extended period of time and want to build out that lower leg strength. I've also used this for recovery runs at a 10 minute per mile pace, which demonstrates its excellent versatility as it's very comfortable at everything from those 10 minute mile paces down to five minute per mile paces. All right guys, next up we have Nike. Now Nike is a brand that has dominated in the running scene for decades, but over the last five to 10 years with Hoka coming in the game, Saucony ramping up, Asics ramping up, On coming in the game, Nike has faced a lot of threats from some challengers. And while their lineup might not be the most innovative that we see aside from that Vaporfly and Alphafly, they are pretty consistent with this one shoe that we're gonna highlight as their best daily trainer, which is the Pegasus. Now the Pegasus is in its 40th iteration so they must be doing something right with this one. So the Pegasus weighs 9.4 ounces with a 10 millimeter drop and it's a super classic running shoe. The foam isn't too soft, it's not too firm, it's not too bouncy, it's not too, it's not too anything. It's just right down the middle of what you expect a daily trainer to do. Now you hear me talk a lot about how to become a well-rounded runner, how to strengthen your lower body and running in a shoe like the Pegasus is exactly what you need to do for that. If we rely too much on these heavily rockered shoes or these soft shoes, we're not going to be building up as much strength in our Achilles and our calf as we otherwise could be. So I like to mix in the Pegasus to my runs once or twice a week as that strength building shoe. It's also a very versatile shoe. I highlighted it recently in my most versatile running shoes for this fall and a very durable shoe with that thick rubber outsole on the bottom. So with these two things, versatility and durability coming in at a price point of 130, it's a great buy if you're looking for a do-it-all workhorse that can last for miles and miles. All right, guys, next up we have On, which some of you might know as On Cloud. They are the brand that pioneered those big clouds, pods, holes in the midsoles of running shoes. And you can see them pretty much everywhere you look. Just go to your local grocery store and you'll see a ton of suburban parents rocking them. Now the best daily trainer from on this year is the Cloud Surfer. It gets away from some of those elements we saw in previous on shoes, like that firmer foam and that plastic speedboard attached to those pods. And instead it goes with the more typical foam feeling that's on the softer side, almost like that Nova Blast and a new pod formulation that slants them a bit more. So it's called Cloud Cloud Tech phase, which gives a different sensation. They describe it like dominoes collapsing, which is supposed to provide some pretty good impact absorption. We had a friend here on the channel, Michael Yardis, who told me that On actually consulted with the NFL helmet manufacturers to introduce some of that same technology for impact absorption that they use in NFL helmets into running shoes. So Cloud Surfer is a really cool shoe. It's gonna be soft, it's gonna be protective, and it's also gonna be pretty stylish because it's come from the hottest style running brand in the game right now. With all those great benefits does come a $20 to $30 price premium, depending on what you compare it to. It's coming in at $160, but if you are going for that top tier coffee shop style and no shade to coffee shop style, then the On Cloud Surfer is the daily trainer for you. 
All right, guys, next up we have Puma. Now, Puma was dormant for a while there in the late 2010s and then came roaring back to life in the early 2020s with a slew of great shoes all formulated around their super critical lineup of foam. So the best daily trainer right now from Puma is the Velocity Nitro 2. It has a classic running shoe feel and it is on the lighter weight side. The Velocity Nitro 2 comes in at $120, represents great value. The only other shoes on this list that are as cheap as that are the Atreus you daily trainer at 110 and the adidas audi zero sl at 120. now the velocity nitro 2 again isn't going to have a ride that blows you out of the water it's not too firm it's not too soft right down the middle of that market but for 120 dollars represents great value especially with that puma grip outsole rubber which is one of the most durable and sticky traction compounds in the running shoe segment right now there's no crazy rocker there's no plate there's no crazy technology in here so if you're looking for a very solid reliable no frills shoe this is a good alternative to something like the Pegasus and also will save you 20 bucks against that. All right, guys, next up we have Reebok. Now, Reebok is one of these brands that doesn't have a huge running shoe lineup, but they do have a few solid picks out there, and their core value proposition is gonna be on the price side. The best daily trainer from Reebok is the Float Ride Energy 5. Now, this is a bit lower stack. It has a heel stack of 27 millimeters and a four foot stack of 19 millimeters for that eight millimeter drop, and it comes in at 9.1 ounces. Again, this is a do it all type of shoe, and the foam in here is a beaded compound similar to that power run pb that we see in the triumph or in an old school adidas boost but it's going to be a bit firmer and a bit less squishy underfoot if you're looking for an alternative to some of those more mainstream shoes then you can check out the float ride energy 5 again it'll be an alternative to something like the nike pegasus or adidas audi zero sl it's going to be that all-around type of shoe that can chew up a lot of mileage because it is on the firmer side it's also going to be a good option if you don't like those soft and cushiony style daily trainers like we see in the cloud surfer and the nova blast all right, guys, next up we have Solomon. Now, Solomon is another brand like Kraft that started off on the trail running side and has recently entered into the road running segment. Now, the general perspective here is that they fumbled a little bit and haven't really nailed the formula when it comes to the road running shoes, but they have tried and they have had some elements of success with some of these shoes that we've seen on the road side. Now, the best daily trainer right now from Solomon is the Aero Volt. The Aero Volt is positioned by Solomon as more of a lightweight up-tempo shoe, but I'm highlighting it here because it does have the appropriate stack height that I look for in a daily trainer. And the other shoe that would be considered for this has a stack height of about 38 millimeters. That's the Aero Blaze. So I decided to go with the Aero Volt, which is a bit of a snappier, more lightweight shoe. Now this one has a 33 millimeter heel stack and a 25 millimeter four foot stack for an eight millimeter drop. And it comes in at 7.7 .7 ounces, which is really competitive for this daily training segment and competitive even for that tempo shoe segment. So this is gonna be a shoe that's really good for faster style daily running, almost like the New Balance Rebel V3, that lightweight shoe that can do daily training as well as everyday runs. And I've gotta say the style here is impeccable so if you're looking for an alternative to adidas nike saucony hoka one of those big brands you want to check out a different style of shoe for your next lightweight daily trainer then i would consider the aero volt also when i'm thinking about structuring rotation i generally like to have a more cushioned daily trainer and then a lighter weight daily trainer so the aero volt could fill that lighter weight slot in the rotation especially if you pair it with a more cushioned trainer like the clifton 9 or the cloud surfer those would be really good companions if we're thinking about building out a well-rounded rotation all right, guys, next up we have Saucony. Now, Saucony has a super competitive lineup of shoes right now. They're one of the top brands in the game, up there with Asics as the leaders in the segment in terms of developing new innovations and putting out shoes that runners want to run in. And the best daily trainer that we're seeing from them right now is the Ride 16. Now, before you come at me for not including the Triumph or the Speed 3, those shoes are not eligible because of their stack height in the case of the Triumph and in the case of the Speed 3 because of that plastic plate. So the Ride 16 is a more conventional, traditional old school style of daily trainer it has an eva foam in there it's called power run and it has a firmer feel now they are making big changes to this in the ride 17 which is coming out soon they're actually taking that power run plus foam from the triumph and putting it in the ride so that should make it a softer shoe closer in feel to the nova blast what i love about the ride 16 is it's just a straightforward no frills shoe in contrast to a lot of these other shoes out there which are using dual foams or mixing in softer foams even the rebel v3 it's good for me to 
to have one firmer go-to shoe in the rotation. And Ride 16 is gonna be one of the best at doing that. This has a stack height of 33 millimeters in the heel, 27 millimeters in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. Comes in at 8.8 .8 ounces, which is right down the middle of the segment. And the price is $140, which again is bullseye in the middle of the market. If you are considering this shoe, I would suggest holding off for another few months because you could probably see it drop in price as that Ride 17 gets rolled out. And the Ride 15, which is last year's model version, can be found for $50 at places like DSW right now. All right, guys, next up we have Skechers. Now, Skechers is a brand whose reputation gets ahead of itself. If you are familiar with this brand at all outside the running context, you probably know it as that low budget alternative to mainstream brands sold in Payless, which likes to knock off or politely borrow designs from the bigger brand. Outside of that reputation, taking it into the running context, Skechers actually has a really solid competitive lineup of shoes. And fun fact, they were the brand to pioneer supercritical foams, which is when they inject gas into the foam now Skechers uses CO2 and they've actually patented injecting CO2 into foam, which is why we see a lot of brands going with nitrogen or a different gas for their supercritical process. Now, unfortunately, none of the Skechers, daily trainers, or running shoes fit our criteria because they all have a carbon fiber plate in the forefoot. This is super disappointing. I know I am gonna make a slight exception to the rule to talk about one of these shoes briefly, and that one is going to be the Go Run Razor 4. Now, outside of that carbon fiber plate, or maybe because of it, this is a really solid, fun shoe. It has a 30 millimeter heel and a 26 millimeter forefoot for a lower drop at four millimeters. It uses that super critical hyper burst foam, which is a nice soft, fun and bouncy ride, similar to almost a Piva foam. And it's gonna be a good option for everyday miles where you wanna go a bit faster and also could be used as a tempo shoe. In contrast to a lot of the other shoes I've highlighted here, this is not a no frills traditional daily trainer. This is a more modern take on the shoe, but I did wanna highlight it because I think it's important to throw some shine at Skechers, which is doing great things. You just gotta give us one shoe without a plate. Please, Skechers. All right, guys, next up we have Topo. Now, Topo is a brand that focuses on producing anatomical shoes. Now, what this means is they tend to have a lower drop and they tend to have a wider toe box, which allows the foot to sit in a more natural position and allows the toes to get a bit more room to wiggle out. They're also a brand that focuses a lot on the trail side, but they do have a really nice lineup of road running shoes as well. So the one we're going to highlight here today as the best daily trainer from Topo is the Spectre. Now, the Spectre is positioned by Topo as their max cushion shoe, but it is on the lighter side and it fits within our criteria for stack height, so it's a great option as a daily trainer. So this Spectre has a chassis or an outside layer of EVA foam and then inside of that is a Piva drop-in. So they're mixing the old with the new which creates a really fun ride like we see in the Saucony Tempest. That outside cradle of EVA provides stability and then that inside core of Piva adds some speed, some bounciness, and some fun to the shoe. So this is going to have a nice smooth ride. Really good option for those everyday running miles because again a blend of that comfort with the speed and also a really solid shoe for long runs. This comes in at 8.9 ounces, which is really good considering the stack height of 35 millimeters in the heel and 30 millimeters in the forefoot, and it's priced at $150. That is a bit more expensive than some of the other shoes on this list, but the orange colorway of this has been on sale for a while now for around $100, I believe on Running Warehouse. So you can check that out if you're interested in this shoe. All right, guys, next up we have Tracksmith. Now, Tracksmith is a Boston-based boutique running brand that focuses on creating stylish and high-performing apparel. Now, they're known for their preppy, timeless, classic designs, and they recently branched into running shoes. I was one of the first to try this running shoe. I signed up for the wait list as soon as I possibly could, and I have to say, I have not been disappointed. So that running shoe that we're gonna highlight here is the best daily trainer, also the only daily trainer from Tracksmith is the Elliott Runner. So the Elliott Runner is a really cool shoe because it's going for that old school style of running sensation with modern materials. So it has a Piva midsole where there's a drop in insole of super critical Piva and then the main midsole material is a standard Piva. So that drop in insole is gonna be a bit softer and then what it's sitting on around the outside core is a firmer material. 
This has a ride that's similar to a Pegasus, but it actually is, runs faster and more energy returning than you expect. So anytime I run this shoe, I find that I'm maybe 10 to 15 seconds per mile faster than I intended to be, just because that Piba is giving me more energy return. And with that 10 millimeter drop, it puts me up on my toes really nicely. Now it is $200, so I would only recommend the shoe if you're a big fan of Tracksmith or you really like the style of this shoe. And I've gotta say, style here is great. I wear this as my casual shoe a lot of the times I actually just picked up uh, the New Balance 990 V2, a retro edition of the shoe. So I switched that in as my everyday casual shoe. But Tracksmith is great for that. It's great for travel. Really comfortable shoe too. So you can get a lot of use out of it outside of running. All right, guys, last year we have Under Armour. Now, Under Armour is another general apparel and sportswear brand, but they do have a tidy lineup of performance running shoes, similar to what we see from Reebok. Now, over the past few years, Under Armour has put more effort into sponsoring elite athletes and really developing the top end of the segment. So unlike Reebok, which focuses more on portable daily trainers, Under Armour has taken the opposite approach where a lot of its top shoes are performance for racing and for speed training. So the best daily trainer from Under Armour is going to be the Velocity 3. Now, again, this is a shoe that's positioned by the brand more as a speed shoe, but in the overall Under Armour lineup, this is the one that I would personally reach for as a daily trainer. Comes in at 8.8 .8 ounces, which is decently lightweight and is designed for speed over distance. It's one of those shoes that's gonna be a really good shoe for long runs, for any runs that are eight to 10 miles. I keep promoting that high turnover and get you running in comfort. The unique thing about this shoe is that it does not have a run rubber outsole. I generally do not like to highlight rubberless shoes as daily trainers, but this one has a solid rubberized EVA outsole that's a lot more durable than what we see on something like the Hoka Mach 5. So Under Armour calls that rubber compound flow and it's in here in the shoe and it's, it's also on their marathon racing shoe. So this one comes in at 130, a bit cheaper than that general 140 daily trainer price point that we see in the market. So if you do want to try something new, I would go ahead and check this one out. Under Armour does tend to run a lot of deals and promotions. So if you're interested in this one, if you wait a few weeks, maybe wait till Black Friday or something, I'm sure you can get a deal on this under $100 in the next few months. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is the marathon video of best daily trainers fall 2023 from every single brand. I hope you got as much value from this video as I did in researching it. I learned a ton about some new shoes out there, some brands out there that I don't typically consider as premier running shoe brands, but the market is growing and it's awesome to see so many entrants in this category. Thank you for watching. As always, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and I'll make sure to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in the world of performance running.